Hello everyone! Welcome to Dentistry with Balls. I'm Raphael and today I'm going to do an honest product review. You might wonder why a product review this time. I just felt like it. And of course, the internet is full of reviews which are not so honest and uh, I want to change this a little. So. I'm going to commit myself to whenever I do a product review that I have at least six months uh, that I've been using this product. So every product that I will review from now on, I've been using this for six months or more. Also, I will fully disclose if I got this product for free or at a discount or whatever. I can be very brief on this uh, concerning the, the product I'm going to review uh, in this clip. I paid full price for it. So no sponsors, sponsorship, no discount, nothing. Well, let's start, shall we? So the product I'm going to review is this one. And it's the eConnect S from ATEED. It's a wireless endo motor. Why an endo motor? Well, as you may know, I'm an endodontist. And one of the ask, uh, questions that people ask me the most is, which motor should I buy? And I've been using this motor for two and a half years and basically I say, I tell them, buy this one. Now, in this clip, I will tell you a little bit about the pros and the cons of this motor. So let's start. Let's look up, uh, at the design first. So the design, I can be very short on this. It's good. It's that simple. It looks exactly the same as any other wireless endo motor on the market they all look the same and the design basically are copies from each other so you cannot say anything bad about this what is more important is does it work and will it keep working well like i said i've been using this for over two years so yes this uh, this works and keeps working so durability is pretty good long term does it have a lot of options yes i was pleasantly surprised when I tried the eConnect S in the beginning. I think I, um, I was acquainted with it for the first time in 2018 at the Root Summit in Berlin and I immediately ordered one uh, just to check it out. It's not an expensive uh, motor, I will come on that uh, later. Um, but I thought to myself, well, let's buy one and, and see, see how it does. And when I opened the, the package, the box, okay, you take the motor out uh, and you start playing with it. And I was surprised that most of the big file systems at that time, two years ago, almost three, um, were already pre-programmed. Now, this is nice, but a lot of other uh, motors, they ha also have a... a files pre-programmed but you cannot add them yourself afterwards or you can add some programs to it but it's limited in the possibility so you can adjust rpm and torque for rotational files but you cannot adjust the angles when you're using reciprocating files now the eConnect S um, yeah you can adjust basically everything so rpm torque uh, the angles so it's future proof and this is very important for me. Whenever there is going to be a new file system, if it's not programmed in the eConnect S, it doesn't matter. I can program it myself and I can keep on using this. So the options are very good. The design is good, the options are good. So also I said about durability, it's good. What about build quality? So this is also very important, build quality. I have to say, the first time I held it in my hands, it felt a little bit cheap. Now, this may not be a big surprise because it's a cheap engine. It's as simple as that. It's a cheap motor. Um, but yeah, when you're used to a premium feel, it's a little bit, let's say, plasticky. Now, this is not a big issue, but there are some other small uh, issues. So, you might not know, but this motor, so it's a great motor, it also has a built-in apex locator. 
And I'm very wary of motors with built-in apex locators because most of the time they don't work that well. Now my colleague has been using uh, this apex locator uh, for a few months and it did the job perfectly. We even um, controlled the apex locator, to show the, the, the lengths that we got from this engine. Uh, we controlled them with the root ZX, which is basically the standard apex locator we normally use. And it was always the same length that we had, so it's a very good, very good apex locator. However, after I think a month or three or four, it broke in his engine. I've never used it. Uh, I prefer a separate apex locator. But yeah, after three or four months, it broke. It might be the cable, it might be something else, but yeah, it, it broke. The motor itself still works perfectly, even after more than two years. But I think it's, it's the cable, it's very cheap. Another problem is this, and it's the base station. So, you need to charge this, of course. Um, and the first time I charged it, because it was empty, the battery was flat, and uh, I charged it overnight. I came in the office and it didn't work. So it didn't charge at all. How does it come? Apparently, if you put it in like this normally, it's not getting a good contact and it doesn't charge. What we do is we take a little piece of a napkin and we put it here and when you press it like this, you have a good contact and it charges. So for two years we were using a, a little piece of a napkin and we just press it between this. Now you might think, yeah, you just have bad luck um, with your charging station or, or whatever, but it's not. This motor is so good that I bought three of them. Now, one a base station that doesn't charge, it's a coincidence. Two is bad luck, but all three, yeah, it's a design flaw. So, this is, these are some minor issues. It's, it's nothing really big, but yeah, build quality could have been a little bit better. Then the next uh, thing we'll discuss is price. It's almost ridiculous. So it's not the cheapest one. There are cheaper ones, but for the quality you get with this and all the options, um, yeah, it costs about thousand euros, which is less than half of most other engines. Um, so it's a very, very cheap uh, motor. And if you look at the value for money you get from this, it's, it's almost ridiculous how good this is. So they did a very good job. And the final thing I want to talk about, because this is also important, and so we discussed the design, we discussed the options, durability, price and value for money, battery. The biggest problem I had in the past with motors, especially the, the wireless ones, uh, is the battery. Most of them never make it past the two-year mark and uh, after two years of using them I was lucky if I could do a full treatment with some previous uh, motors. This one after two and a half years with one charge I can still work a whole week and this is an endo office so we do root canal treatments the whole week every day from the morning until the evening and still after two years i don't know how they did it um, but yeah it's it's an amazing battery so it still works of course the reason why is it doesn't have a, f a flashy um, screen no backlighting not, none of all of those things that consume uh, a lot of power so it's a simple uh, simple screen that you look at so if you press this Maybe you'll see, maybe you don't, but yeah, this is it. So it doesn't use a lot of energy from the battery and that's perfect. So this thing does exactly what it needs to do for a very, very reasonable price. In short, what are the pros? Good design, good durability, a lot of options, amazing battery and uh, probably the best value for money out there when you look at motors at the moment. What are the cons? Just some, sm uh, some minor things, some small things. 
build quality could have been a little bit better. The Apexel Cater, I uh, wish I could tell you it's amazing, but it isn't, uh, so because it broke down. And yeah, the, the base station, I think there is some uh, design flaw there, uh, but yeah, nothing too big. So, I hope you liked it, um, and in the future I'm going to do some more uh, reviews uh, on stuff that I've been using for at least six months. Um, if you like this, please subscribe so you can uh, get all the notifications when I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, feel free to share this.